Yeah, this didn't work out too well. Oh dear, okay. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. I remember the first time I played this on PSP and I was just like, oh my god, this is so much fun. It's, it's actually... It, it, you don't know you, you want something until you get it. <laughs> and this, this game was kind of that for me, for Metal Gear. It was uh, like, oh, so there's, there's an ongoing loop here uh, of, you know, it, this game constantly feeds you rewards and updates and, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, the more you play, it's got a really good uh, game loop here. That's the word. And uh, yeah, I, this, is, this is worth a playthrough. And if you've got someone else playing along with you at the same time, I think that makes this game even better. It, it's built for co-op. And uh, if this ever comes to a Volume 2 Master Collection, because that's not out as of the recording of this video, uh, who knows when that's coming out. Uh, hopefully it will be by the time if you're watching this uh, later down the line, you know, if you're watching this much later down the line. But uh, if this does come to it, I, I think they will retain the co-op. They have to. It's a, it's a critical thing. Um, but we're getting into a harder debate here. <laughs> harder talk, as we normally do. But anyway, new develop been developed. New weapon, new develop been developed. New weapon been developed. Uh, we've got the rank two uh, of the Hush Puppy Trank Gun, which is awesome. We now acquired a lore. We actually saw one of the uh, Commandante, or one of the, uh, one of the soldiers holding up the, the law rocket launcher. Uh, which is really cool. So it's a disposable rocket launcher, compact and light, making it possible to carry several at once. A downside is its weaker power, which isn't a bad thing. It's pretty light, and I prefer that in my uh, rocket launchers. Um, so yeah, it only fires one shot, and then you dispose of it. That's how the the law is designed, and I think it's I think IRL. That's how it's designed too. I, I, it's definitely based off the IRL one, as all weapons are in this game, I suppose, to an extent. Uh, let's see. Oh, the analyzer's finished. We've got that now, so we can use that to figure out what guards we want to take and what we want to leave. Uh, I think we're going to take majority of the guards, because we do need to start ranking up stuff pretty quickly, even if they are really low level. But um, I can still show you how this works. And uh, we've got some parameters of our current soldiers currently leveling, which is great. And uh, here's everything all summed up for you. And if you want to go through, you can have a look. Really nice. Big improvement over the portable ops uh, and initial like base building kind of stuff they had. Um, Still very fun though. I like the personal reports you could get in that game, but uh, it's all here basically. This is this is just a much more condensed and expanded version of it. Weirdly enough, uh, you put those two things together. All right, the game loop continues. Let's uh, let's go. Uh, let's see. So we've got a couple other soldiers here. So you can see we've got some guys who are quite good with R and D. Uh, and so you can see some guys got some parameters going up there. They got some uh, little bit of extra light orange on the, the field meters on the right there. Uh, oh, mess hall. Okay. We don't actually have that yet, so we're still focusing on... I think R&D is still the, the main focus here. Okay, we've now got this gun ready for development, the M1911A1. Excellent. Anything else? No. Uh, we'll put two more guys into combat. Uh, well, why not? Why don't we round it off? We'll make it ten. And then the, uh, oh, you can auto-assign too. I never do. I prefer to manually do this. I believe MGS5, Phantom Pain, has a pretty good auto-assign system. Because uh, I don't really remember doing much ma much manual handling of the soldiers in my initial playthrough of that game. Um, which I think might have ruined the base building aspect for me in that game. I don't know. It's, it's been a while. Um, okay, let's have a look. So we've now got this gun. Which, by the way, the model viewer, really awesome. They actually revamped this for the HD collection to make the models look a little bit better. Uh, not not insanely better, but you can see they, they definitely are higher quality than they were on PSP. Um, very cool. Very cool stuff. Uh, let's get this developed. Why not? Let's just get all the stuff developed. What else we got? Nothing else in development here on the item side. Uh, and the new document was for the M1911A1. Okay, well that's pretty much it for R&D. And uh, let's go save. Always make sure you save after everything you do in this game. And the base has no other developments yet. Uh, it, it will, it, this will uh, cosmetically change as well. Like it, you'll see things improve and upgrade, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into the next mission. Right, we're going to pursue Amanda. Let's go. The direction Amanda sent and east as we're going corresponds to the location of the next outpost, a supply depot. We should be able to make contact with her there. Alright, here we go. Single. 
Right, so let's, uh, let's see. So we do have a ton of briefing files again, um, but, but we're not focusing on that. Right, so where is our location? Uh, I don't know where our location is. Uh, so it's kind of rocky terrain. It's, it's still around the same area, so we might change from water to something else since it was okay, but we might need something of a little bit better jungle coverage. I mean, the, 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 the guns and jungle uh, which I didn't actually know that meant that until now, so I looked in the bottom left. <laughs> Guns and jungle. Survival. Might be a good one. The swamp is a B rank, but the jungle is an A rank, so that might be a good medium ground. We might stick with that. Okay, now I'm going to put the... We're going to move some things around. I'm going to put the analyzer, which I don't think that actually has a model viewer. No, it doesn't. And then we're going to put rations here. And then I'll put the surround indicator at the end here. So at least we're carrying it. So we've got a full inventory now. Look at that. Pretty cool. Uh, okay, so these are my main three. I like to toggle between Fulton, Analyzer, and Ration. I think that's just to be safe. Uh, weaponry is good. Uh, I don't think we have anything else in terms of weaponry right now. It's pretty simple. I do like how you start with M16 and then a Hush Puppy. It's really nice to start with two weapons. Okay, uh, anything else? No, we, we do have an empty mag. I suppose we can just bring that with us. Why not? We need to make some sound. Could be good. Uh, I think that's everything there. Let's let's do this. Oh, no extra briefing on the way in? Okay. Love to see it. <laughs> Love to see it. Let's go pursue Amanda. Uh-oh. So you'll find all your ammo replenishes as well based on how much uh, your your base is creating uh, every time you complete a mission. Which should be... You should be fine in your initial playthroughs. Okay. A bunch of guys coming. It's around us pretty quickly. These guys just go, oh, I might put myself in a bad position here. Yeah. I think I did. Let's see if we can go around. What was that? Oh, hello. I think I see someone. Let's see if we can quickly get these guys. Whoop. It does kind of a, a mini lock onto the head if it gets closer. Oh, this guy does come up here. Okay, the suppressor's taken a bit of a beating. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see. Nothing? Okay. Uh, alright, let's test the analyzer. We've knocked him out. Uh, you don't have to be knocked out to use this. Let's have a look. Uh, we got it scanning. All right, so he's an E rank, but he does specialize in R and D. That's cool. Uh, now, do I want to take all these guys? Is another question. E rank. All right, so they're going to all be pretty low, it seems. What else we got? Another E rank. Oh, but he's he's in combat though. He, he is in combat. Let me bring that up again. Did tab out a little bit too quickly. Yeah, so he's got the combat symbol there, the two swords. So that might be a worthy one. We've only got nine Fultons, and we don't know what else we're going to come across. So uh, let's let's not go too crazy with it. Okay, what's a combat? Uh, I think I'm going to check here first. I, I do recall you can go up here. See if there's anything hiding here. There's always kind of items and specs always kind of hiding around, which... Yeah, I remember this one. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember if this was a, an extra op or this mission. Uh, so here's a confidential dock. Alright, we've got stun grenades now. Let's go. Alright. Cool little thing to make you explore. I really like that. Uh, let's focus on... I think I might get one of each. Let's get one of each guy. So, oh, he's, he's a mess hall guy. We'll get him. Oops, nope, nope. Oh, don't, don't wake up. Oops. Alright, we'll bay. get this guy. I think this guy was also R&D, wasn't he? So this is a level 1 analyzer, so it's going to be very slow. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Okay. And then we'll get this guy. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Alright, so where are we going? Uh, we're going... down this way. Alright, cool. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. He's going to say that every time we Fulton someone. <laughs> He's going to say that every time. So the cool thing in co-op is, with these smaller circle areas, I think you and your partner can split up. But when it comes to the larger areas, I think you need to be together. 
um, the, you can't, actually can't progress through the barrier unless you're both there. Oh, there we go. What we got? An E rank. Don't turn too crazy. This area might look familiar. We were here before. D rank. Okay, he's actually a little better. He hasn't seen me yet. It's good stuff. Oh, he actually did see me. Huh. Okay, I think I'm going to ignore this guy and go straight to you. Seems a little better. Alright, any hidey holes? Oh, I thought that was a document for a second. <laughs> it's just a mushroom. There is something here, though. Aesthetic rounds, but we don't need them. Send back to Mother Base. Now, I've always questioned what a randomizer would be like with this game. Uh, I would love to see one. Whether it be the PSP version or this version. Uh, the HD version. Um, don't quite know how it would work. Maybe with the soldiers? Went across that rope bridge. In particular, Hurry. but... Yeah, weaponry would be interesting too. Maybe like the design specs, the docks and stuff would be cool. Let's see if we can grab this guy. Oh, got some rations. Yeah, let's see if we can grab this guy. Gotta be a little bit quiet. Uh, I want to. I want to explore. He's going too far. Stop moving, dude! Please stop moving. <laughs> okay, we got him. Okay. I actually wanted to hold him up, but uh, or rather, get some information out of him. But it's fine. D rank in the mess hall. Uh, how many have we got left? Five. Mm, I'll leave you for now. Got to be a little bit picky, I think. We still want to use every Fulton if we can. Every mission. That would be nice. Okay, nothing there. Uh, but he is, he is a D rank, though. So I think that might be a priority over the E ranks. Yeah, I think we'll take him. Goodbye, sir. You're going to live a better life. Cool. Get past the enemy by How cool does this look? Press the action button near the bridge's handrail to hang. What do you got? You can't hang down when you're crouching. Oh, D rank and medical. Okay. So yes, we can hang off railings too. Uh, I tend to not really do that much. But uh, I think we can show it off here. There you go. So yeah, the feature returns. Make sure don't press X. <laughs> <laughs> or A, whatever you're playing on. Uh, so this guy was a medical, was that right? I think it said medical and it was D rank. It is, okay, well he's a priority too. Because we can shuffle some troops around later. Okay, we've got three left. Okay, we're in the swamps. We've still got a couple areas to go, look at that. We've got another two large areas. Ooh. What we got? Okay, he would be good too. Guy across the way. Stay out of the water. That's beyond the scope of this operation. Guy just watching over there. Oh, hello. Thought I heard footsteps. See so yeah, if I quickly scan this guy before he notices me. Come on. He's an E-rank. I think we'll go around. Oh, no. Go around, dude. Go around. Don't see me. Hopefully he doesn't hear me either. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that could be bad. That could be bad. Like... Okay, he's asleep. He's asleep. That's our first alert. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Okay, we got reinforcements coming. Uh, let's see if we can take him. Come here. You're gonna. No. Okay, we might just hold him. Okay, make sure he doesn't wake up. Got another guy. Another two guys here. God damn, I can't believe we got an alert here. Trying to be sneaky and everything. So yeah, you can see the AI is pretty basic. <laughs> They're not 
They're not too crazy. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, quick scan, quick scan. But they're still on the hunt. Stay sharp. No, that's fine. No, that's fine. Ah, they're both pretty bad. Let's just keep moving. Alright, two Fultons left. Yeah, we're still kind of in caution. Careful now. They might be holding FSLN soldiers prisoner. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. It's alright, they'll clear out soon. You can see the guys in uh, kind of a bluish outfit. I think they're the reinforcements. Come in, HQ. This is HQ. All right, we're good. This is patrol. All clear. Understood. Return to base. What's that? Now they're just gonna drop the rank of this mission a little bit, which is unfortunate because we'll get less less rewards. I think. Um, Guess not. I think it might be just GMP costs. I can't remember. It's. But it's fine. It's it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's me, me wanting to rush a little bit too, I think. It's, uh, we're gonna go slow down a little bit, I think. I think that's what we gotta do. Okay. E rank. Okay. Not interested in him. You could be interesting though. Scanning's gonna get me killed at some point. <laughs> e rank two. Okay. One guy behind the fence all the way over there. I can see him back there. How fuck we scanned? Oh! Just heard a noise. Oh, hello. Extra love box, I like it. Alright, let's have a look in here. To send a prisoner to Mother Base, equip the Fulton recovery system. Select equipment by pressing the square or circle button while holding the L2 button. Alright, we got a prisoner here. Uh, that definitely takes priority. I think they're pretty good stats too, let's have a look. I think you very rarely find a prisoner with bad stats. Yeah, C rank. Look at that. Absolutely worth it. Okay. Goodbye, sir. You are rescued. <laughs> What's that? Oh, hi. Uh, let's just knock you out for safety. One guy right there, too. Another guy over there. So this is a banana plant, in case uh, you didn't read it earlier. I love how we go to banana plant. Stuff to do with bananas. And I do like how hostages are in banana color as well, which- oh! Actually, speaking of hostages, there's another one. I gotta give him shoes. D rank, okay. Oh, Twin barrel shotgun, let's go. Now we've got a design spec for that so we can develop it, and I think he will be our last form. Nice. Whoa! Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. See if we can grab him. There we go. Start talking. <laughs> I don't know what that sound is. Start talking. Do 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 do. You can transport the prisoner to mother base if you had a balloon. Yeah, unfortunately, I used them all up. Now, I don't think you can call in more Fultons, uh, like in MGS5. I, I think that's like, like once, you, once you've used them up, that's it. There might be some missions where you can find some lying on the ground. Uh, but, but yeah, I think that's mostly boss battles from what I recall. There might be a couple missions here and there, we'll find out. E rank, interesting. D rank, okay. He might have been worth taking. Take him out. Anything in here? Oh, there is. T-stripe. Ah, tiger stripe camo. There we go. Alright, we're getting some extra camos now. Good stuff. Collect all the items. I think that's everything. Um, yeah, we've got all the documents. We've saved two hostages. Um, nothing else is coming to mind. Uh, yeah, let's go. Cool mission. Despite the alert. Oh, here we go. Got a serious face on. Oh, we got a tank. 
Oh, look how armored these guys are. Wow. They look cool, man. That's an APC if I ever saw one. Looks like there's no way around him. You up for this, Nick? All right, the LAV Type G, armored assault vehicle. Let's do it. Next mission. <laughs> so if you've never played this before, it, it, this game loves to do that. It's it's always uh, they show you like the intimidating thing, and then they're like, ah, next mission. Just to get you prepped. I'm glad uh, we have time to fly back to the base and do things before this fight. It's so funny. Um, but hey, we've got a B rank. Uh, the alerts definitely definitely killed that, sadly. Um, <laughs> I like how the alerts are new. That's new. You've never got one of those before. Seven soldiers, two prisoners, and a new Tiger Stripe camo has been developed. I'm pretty sure we just picked up off the ground. Listen, boss. We both know you're the reason MSF's grown so much, but it's time we started putting more thought into provisions. Good point. A place this big needs a good stockpile on hand. The Japanese say, you can't fight on an empty stomach. Something we learned in World War II. Obviously. Maintaining a steady supply of provisions is one of the basic principles of logistics. So I went ahead and set up a mess hall team. The team members' numbers and abilities will affect the amount of grub to go around. Without enough food, morale will drop. They get hungry enough, and we could start losing people. Anyway, I need you to assign guys to the mess hall team. Copy that. All right, we now have a new team, the mess hall, which uh, I've, I've alluded to earlier. We're, we're getting some guys with the knife and fork icon. And it uh, looks like we've got some stuff back at the base. Let's go have a look. And then we can assign a bunch of people to the mess hall, which is going to be important. We need to stay above over a certain amount of percentage, uh, which we'll show here. So, mess hall team, serve food and increase your food supply rate. Uh, you can also develop high rank recovery items. So this is going to feed into the rations and all our healing, which is really cool. In conjunction with our other teams. Uh, in collaboration, rather. Alright, we've developed the M1911A1 gun. We've developed the sniper rifle. It's fantastic. Uh, we got a smoke grenade. We'll take that with us. Uh, stun grenades are ready for development. Good stuff. And, uh, yeah, we got a bunch of soldiers with the parameters leveled up. And it's telling us, uh, we're below, uh, 100%. <laughs> That's because we just got it. Relax, game. Alright, let's immediately put people in there. Okay, uh, no, we don't want to view the tutorial. Alright, so you can see at the top right, we now have a food percentage. So we've got to stay above 100%. Uh, this is so morale doesn't drop and we, we don't lose a bunch of people. So I think we're going to have a quick look through each team. We got no one in R&D who's good with mess hall out, outside of, uh, outside of Miller. Uh, but I think I'll move Miller, uh, should I move Miller now? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I'll keep him in R&D for now. Uh, let's see, anyone in here? No, everyone's in E rank. Alright, let's start. Okay, so we got some, we got guy good in R&D and, a. A guy good in mess hall. I think we'll take this guy to mess hall. Uh, this guy to mess hall. He's got some two D ranks there. That should... That bumps it up a little bit, which is nice. Uh, we've got a POW here, which is really cool. You're good, better than I expected. He's a gunsmith in handguns. So let's put him in here. Twin barrels ready for development. Very good. And a rank two on our Fulton recovery, so we can hold more uh, in our inventory, in our pockets. Let's go. Uh, these two can go in R&D as well. These... Actually... You can go into Mess Hall. Let's get Mess Hall ranked up a little bit. This guy is not really good at anything, so for now we're gonna put him in combat unit. Let's have a look. What can we develop now? Okay, the stun grenades are definitely a priority. And... I think we'll have enough. Yeah, we got enough. We got enough GMP left over to develop everything. Okay, the Fulton Recovery. That'd be great too. So you may be asking why you do like extra ops or anything. You may not have been asking at all, but uh, you've got main ops and extra ops. Now keep in mind, when you do extra ops, uh, your base is still functioning and still running and still developing. So sometimes it might be best to hang off doing a main mission and go do some side stuff uh, to, just to develop things on your base. And uh, I think we might do some of that just before this battle. Uh, we'll see. 
Uh, but I want to show this off first. I want to show off the double barrel shotgun. I kind of want to show off some of the 3D models for the guns. I think that'd be pretty cool to do in this playthrough. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'm re I really appreciate the attention to detail, even if it was PSP. <laughs> like, they did a good job, man. They didn't cut corners, and they wanted the game to be as high quality as possible. Uh, you know, they they're working with what they can. Uh, I'm, so that's why I'm curious if it ever gets a re-release, if they're going to do anything else with this game. But I, I kind of doubt it outside of the networking stuff to make sure co-op works uh, efficiently. Uh, what else did we see? We didn't see this one. <laughs> Doing doing a, a full on rounded circle uh, for uh, for polygons is is not something you really do because at a distance you'd be seeing you know you wouldn't be seeing it fully round that's what they do they like to cut corners so it's like more of a hexagon than it being completely round but you can see the missiles in there too which is really cool attention to detail really nice okay I think that's everything done there let's give a quick save and uh, let's go. We'll have a quick look at extra ops. We'll see if we can uh, do one or two of those. Let's see, we've got our main ops. It's going to be a boss battle, so you can see it says zero out of four. So we're fighting the LAV Type G. But let's uh, let's wait on that for now. Let's have a look. Let's see, we've got some marksman challenges. Uh, I think this one may have uh, some items in there. There's, there's a reason to do the no limit one. And uh, I think we might have a quick look. Commence target practice. As a special treat, you can practice freely on any of the targets in the shooting range today. Shoot away. When you're done, head over to the exit. Alright, let's go. This is going to be a very quick one. We don't have to do anything too crazy. There's a reason we come to... I, I'm confident it's this mission. I'm, I'm hoping it's this one, because there's two of them. Welcome to the shooting range. Just the place for a little target practice, huh? When you're done, head over to the exit. All right. Welcome to MSF's training facility. Where you can just have some fun. We don't really need it, but... You know, it's just good fun. To practice your skills. On PSP, uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but if you didn't really have a PSP or you never played one or you don't really know what it was, it only had one analog stick. Uh, it didn't have two. So when you're trying to do fine aiming like this, you actually had to use the face buttons. So you're using your X square circle and triangle and press in correlation to uh, what, what what direction you want the camera to go. It wasn't a terrible system. It, it did work fine, uh, but you could tell definitely a limitation. Um, all right, so so that other than that being a fun thing, at least in the HD version, we have full like you know MGS4 style controls, you know, which is really nice. Okay, so this is what I actually wanted. This is why we came here. We've got the T-shirt uh, camo now. And, uh, that's it. We're done. Training exercise complete. Now granted, I can't remember every single secret in this game. There is a lot. This game has... Oh, it's... For a PSP game, there is so much content. Uh, at least well, well over 100 hours. Um, if you want to do everything in the game. Uh, because you're just going to have fun. You're going to be, uh... It's kind of grindy too, this game. And, and when you think about it, especially late game. Uh, well, post game, I should say. Uh, we are doing a, redoing a lot of boss fights to, uh, you know, farm parts and and bits and pieces, which will make more sense as the, as we go along in this playthrough. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting, you know. It, it's it's good thing this game loop is very fun <laughs> to make the grinding not feel so bad. So you can just get all your mates on one night and go. All right, we're just going to do this boss battle and let's go. We want we want this weapon or something, you know. It's whatever the reward it has. Okay, I don't think I'm going to bother too much with target practice or marksmanship challenge. I don't care too much about that. I want this one. The Fulton Recovery mission. The boss has infiltrated the area around the coastal supply facility and knocked out the soldier there. But we can't just leave him there to be found. I need you to get in there and capture the unconscious soldier using the Fulton Recovery system. Do it quickly before he comes to. Alright, so, uh, I think in this mission it says, uh... MSF soldiers only, so we can't use Snake. So as you see, Snake's NA. So th this mission's kind of treated like, okay, Snake's in the middle. He's, he's gone further ahead in the story, so you've got to play as uh, someone from your combat unit. And I think we'll take... Uh, I think we'll take Alligator. I think we'll take Alligator. Let's go. They all wear face masks, so they're all not too crazy different. Smoke grenade on. Uh, I don't think... Ah, oh, right, okay. 
That's right, they kind of have their own mini loadout if you play as a different guy. Uh, surrounded decay to go on. Ah, it's fine. Okay, so let's go do this Fulton recovery. Let's go. There are some very interesting uh, extra ops missions in this game. There's there's some funny ones too, like some homages to other games and, and whatnot. To bring back knocked out soldiers. To use oh, I didn't change it around. Okay, Get fine. Up next to them so the icon appears and push the action button. I think, uh, you know what, forget it. We're just going to capture everybody. <laughs> Let's just do that. See if we can get that S rank. So I think you can just go for the one guy. But uh, I want to get everybody here. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. There might be some secrets around here too, but ah, it's fine. Helicopter is complete. Okay, let's get our target. Looks like that soldier's out cold. Get this guy. Ah, done. Let's go. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I love how we use a balloon to get out to. It's a very, um... What, what movie was it? I think it was uh, Dark Knight. The Batman. Dark Knight, where he uses the full recovery and uh, taking that guy away. It's funny, I remember playing this game and going, Hey, wait, they, they just used the thing from Batman. The, uh, the surface-to-air Fulton recovery. And we got our S rank! Look at that. And you get some different music too, if you heard that uh, over me talking. Um, very cool. Very cool. That's a pretty easy S rank to do. You've only got a couple guys to take out. Uh, okay, we've got a hobby magazine. Awesome. I'm worried I might have skipped one there. I think it was just the amount of soldiers we got. I'll do my best not to skip over everything. Sometimes uh, I forget I'm recording. Uh, okay, so more personal reports. Let's go check. Let's go check the base again. And then I think we'll go do the boss battle. Okay, here we go. So this is why I wanted to go do some extra ops, because we've got some things developed now. Uh, it all prepared for the main ops. We've got our stun grenades ready. we got more Fulton recoveries, which is great. We can hold more now. And uh, we got Alligator level up, because we took him out in the fill. He levels up a little bit quicker, I believe. And uh, yeah, there's everything summed up. Four new members. So let's go have a look. Uh, C rank. Okay. Put him in there. Uh, we'll put these two in mess hall, and this one can go combat unit. Okay. What else we got to develop? Anything else? Okay, twin barrel still in development. It's got a. It's going to take a couple, uh, a couple rounds, I think, to get it done. It's at twenty six percent after that one mission, which is really cool. Uh, nothing to develop here. There's our new Fulton recovery. That's good stuff. Let's save. Cool. So yeah, it's the RPG mentality. Change one little thing, go save. <laughs> Especially in the uh, the old uh, 2D era and PS1 era. Early 3D era, you had all that. Also, I love how the music changes when it's time for a boss battle. Like, amps you up. Alright, neutralize the attacking uh, enemy armored vehicle and make contact with Amanda. That's an armored vehicle unit, Snake. Either destroy the vehicle or neutralize the soldiers. Take it out. Here we go. Okay, what are we going to take with us? Uh, so we've got some soldiers and we've got the, the tank and they said either one. Do either one. But I think I'm going to try and do more than that. Uh, let's see. We're going to take our smoke. We'll take the stuns as well. And I don't think we have... We don't have anything else. I'll just put the empty mag there. Actually, no, I'm not going to take the empty mag because I want to keep a light inventory just in case. Uh, let's swap this out with smoke. Yeah, put stun here. Actually, no, no, no. We'll put grenade here. And then we'll put stun there. Yeah, that feels better. That feels way better. Okay. Analyzer, ration. I think we'll do this. I'm going to go... Because I noticed my... My, uh, uh, my fingers are getting a little bit messed up. Because I kind of want to go... I'll, I'll start with ration just to be safe. And then we'll have Analyzer to swap to, and then I can swap to Fulton if it's someone I want to uh, take out. Also, another thing to note, look how we have a 2 against it now. So we have rank 2 in a couple things, which is really nice. Okay, uh, let's check our uniforms. We did get a t-shirt, which is uh, right here. Gone with the tea. 
And he says go on with the tea. <laughs> uh, jungle fatigues. Tiger stripe. Maybe I should go tiger stripe on this one. Swamp. Yeah, let's do that. It's it's A rank. Let's do that. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready for this. Uh, I could take the lore as well. But I'm going to show you guys. Uh, in this game, similar... It, 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 actually, no, not similar, but kind of different to previous Metal Gears. Previous Metal Gears always had you rely on the rocket launcher to take out armored vehicles and stuff. In this game, you don't need to do that. You actually don't. And uh, you can be just fine with the assault rifle. And this is something I didn't learn until the HD games. Uh, well, the HD version, sorry. In my first playthrough, I was like, oh, I don't really need to rely on that. I don't need rocket launchers all the time. Uh, not yet. Not yet. There, there will be times where we will absolutely need that. But um, for now, we, we should be good. And we are keeping the Hush Puppy, because uh, we could we could actually replace the Hush Puppy. You could if you want to. But we do have soldiers to deal with here, as, uh, as Mel has said. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Boss battle time. Hope you're excited. I'm excited. Yeah, it's a showdown. It's a showdown. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I think that's ELO. I probably shouldn't sing on stream. Neutralize the enemy troops. Alright, so they haven't seen me yet. That's another thing too in these battles. They haven't spotted me. Okay. I think we'll try and go around. I, I have a general strategy. I've done this battle many times. I have a general strategy when I do this. Uh, let's see. We'll leave that for now. I think we're going to wait. Go on, guys. You go around. Okay, that was close. But we got him. Oh, where's the other one? Oh, this could be messed up. This could be messed up. Okay, I think they knocked out. I think they knocked out. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, this didn't work out too well. Oh, dear. Okay, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We'll deal with this the best we can. I want to catch these guys. I'm gonna worry about the tank though. Uh, didn't quite work out the way I wanted. But you know what? We're gonna recover. Okay. Take these guys out. Alright, the soldiers are gone. Let's deal with this guy a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> now, I don't know if it's something to do with the frame rate, but this guy moves really fast in HD. Okay. So you can actually fire at him. I think the wheels might be better than firing anywhere else. Maybe the top as well? We'll find out. So, 500, 500, 600. Yeah, so wheels are probably the best. But we'll take these out. Oh boy. Uh, let's make sure we got rations out. Alright, so the, his health gauge is at the top there. You can see in the top left. We might make quick work of him, we'll see. Currently stopped because the fuel tanks were hit. I don't want to damage this thing too crazily. So there's a couple of things I want to show off. It's almost turning into like a walkthrough. <laughs> Might as uh, mess it up the soldiers there. Alright, here we go. Okay, that might have been a good one. That might have been a good one. Here we go. Can we get a chain? Let's go. Oh, uh, that was weird. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got five left. I think, wow, we got them all. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, there he is. Oh, already? Wow. Okay, so if you manage to take out all the soldiers, and I think you've got to damage the tank a little bit, or whatever vehicle, the, sol the, the captain at the top shows. So you can either kill him or, or knock him out. Uh, I always knock him out, just because you'll recruit him. God, if I can actually hit the guy. 
Come here, Captain. There's only one true Captain, and that is me. The enemy leader's out cold. Bring him in. And that was the boss battle. <laughs> they get a bit tougher from here. <laughs> But yeah, I used to go into this battle using just only the law to hit everything, including the soldiers. Uh, you don't need to do that. This game uh, allows experimentation. And uh, guess what? Uh, we got an extra bonus here uh, for not destroying that tank. You'll uh, see that in the results. Oh, we got more story. Oh, gunfire. <laughs> it's a bit hard to miss, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Where could she be? Follow the giant metal singing Metal Gear. Oh, the grabbers are back. Oh no. That's, that's brutal. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's holding her up by the uh, broken leg as well. Which is just... Oh. Yeah, no thank you. Uh, okay, we have a choice. Uh, I'm going to show you what happens if you try and shoot this. Look at that. Dodge. Dodge. Oof. So you had two options there. You could either shoot... Yeah, you could either shoot it or... Shoot either one. Amanda. Chico. What? What is it? Can you roll me one? Hmm? Tobacco. Oh, yeah. Chico. Still. I treated him like a kid again. We fought. I didn't want Chico to know. Kept it a secret. Somosa's Guardia chased us out of Nicaragua. Across the Rio San Juan. And we ended up here. The only reason we've been able to keep on fighting Amanda. The factory. You saw it? The banana factory. A front. It's a drug refining plant. The KGB set it up for us to run. We used the income to buy food and weapons. Mi viejo never said a word, but we all knew. Oh, everyone except Chico. Everything we have, our weapons, our compass, he brought it all together. We were going to rebuild our country. Rebuild Nika with our own hands. Even if we had to dirty our hands to do it. But it's all over. We lost our cacique. Papa! I could never replace him. Now they've taken the plant from us too. There's no place left to regroup. No way to fight la revolucion. 
Here, I rolled you one. What about you? You're going after that cargo? Yeah. Must be important, hmm? Hmm. Looks that way. It looks like it could be nukes. What? Nukes? Madre de Dios. No time to waste. We must get to Irasu. The transport route leads there. It must be where they're holding Chico and my compass, too. Whenever Chico and I argue, he goes off to be by himself. That's why he knows more than anybody about their bases. He... Oh, Chico... You're pretty worried about your baby brother. This is why I'm not fit to be a leader. <laughs> Fine. It's a little bit out of my way, but just tell me where I need to go. There's a prison up in the mountains. That's probably where he is. A prison in the mountains. You must do something for me. If you can't save Chico, I want you to ease his pain. End his humiliation. If he gives in, if he's about to sell out his compass, please, at least let him keep his honor. That's a promise I can't make. Why? Amanda, we gave up our homes, but we're still alive. We're still fighting. And there's always another reason to keep on living. Uh, I feel alive again. Amanda, join my unit until you've healed up. Your unit? Yeah. Who are you? Why are you here? I'm Snake. Serviente. Snake? Could it be... The Great Cacique... Can you hear me? MSF here. One for recovery. She's wounded. Acknowledged. Kaz, the cargo on the barge. I was right. It's headed for the mountains. You think that's where they're taking the nukes? I'm sure of it. Let's move. Alright, looks like Amanda's joining us. She now knows who we are. But damn, she had it rough, man. She had it very rough. All right, I've been recording for a while, so I think uh, we're going to wrap it up here soon, uh, just for this session. Um, wow, we did, well, we got an A rank. That's pretty cool. Uh, I was actually expecting more of a B rank there, but uh, hey, I'll take it. Take it. We got nine soldiers there. I think we got some higher quality soldiers there because they were a bit more armed to the teeth. I, I, I think they can be a little bit better, but we'll find out. Okay, so we did capture the tank as well, which is awesome. So if you manage to not destroy it, you'll actually capture it. Uh, why would we do that? Uh, I guess we'll have to find out, won't we? But it's ours now. We have obtained design specs for the following weapon and item. Tortilla chips. Recipe rank one. One of the best recovery items. Well, not really, but it's a fun one. Um, so this was actually Doritos, I believe, because th this game had a, uh, a li as, as Konami loved to do, licensing, or Kojima loves to do, licensing tie-ins uh, for the Metal Gear games. And uh, I believe Mountain Dew and Tortilla... Uh, sorry, no, uh, uh, what was it? What did I just say? Doritos. Doritos for this one. That had Mountain Dew as well. But uh, I think these were originally meant to be Doritos, uh, but they did take them out and just turn them into just regular tortilla chips 
before uh, once the licensing was done. There it is, soft drink as well. Yeah, so this was the, I believe it was this one, or it could have been a, a different one. There are, there are a couple different soft drinks in this game. Uh, okay, and now we've got a new stage for Versus Ops. We've got the Banana Farm, which is really just a, a front for a drug factory. Snake, Amanda's reached the plant. Snake. Amanda, how do you feel? Some first helicopter ride. I'll be perfectly happy if it's my last. As you can see, she's doing fine. I set Amanda up with her own frequency, so call her anytime you need to. If you have any questions about American bases or mercenary units, or about Effendi, just ask. And please, do not forget my compass and Chico. Don't worry. It's good to be working with you, boss. Snake, we can monitor her condition in sickbay. Remember to assign roles to any POWs you bring back to Mother Base. How this outfit gets built depends on who we assign to what jobs. That'll determine how Mother Base grows. It's one of your most important roles, boss. Yeah, I know. All right, so uh, we traumatized Amanda. One more thing. <laughs> oh, now okay. What? It's about sick bay. Naturally, we can use it for the sick or injured like we did with Amanda. But we can't expect people to get better without the proper treatment. Uh -huh. So I figure we'll need a medical team for that. The number of team members and their abilities will determine how quickly the sick and injured heal. They can also monitor everybody's health. Right. Prevention is the best medicine. You got it. Remember to wash your hands often and gargle twice a day, boss. If only I had the time. <laughs> Doesn't have time to wash his hands. Or gargle. I love that. Alright, we have a lot of reports. Look at this. Special reports, uh, medical team report, R&D report. Yeah, we got, we got a lot of stuff. Let's go. We're already uh, making progress in the base. It's good stuff. Mech is now available. Uh, this is to do with the vehicles we just- with, with the one vehicle we just got. Alright, we got a medical team now, which uh, provides medical treatment and examinations to increase all staff members' resistance to sickness. Also enables you to develop more powerful tranquilizers. So, that's good stuff. And also including the sick bay when uh, people get sick, wounded, or have PS PTSD. Here's Amanda. The ba oh, the shotgun's done. Nice. <laughs> Tortilla chips are ready. We gotta, we gotta learn how to make those. Uh, everyone needs to learn how to make those. Could really go for to some tortilla chips. Um, I think I actually might have some Doritos in the cupboard. <laughs> to double check. <laughs> Alright, parameters have gone up. That's good stuff. Still loving some of the names. And here we go. A new plant has been built thanks to staff efforts. So we've managed to level up enough to uh, increase the cosmetic look of the base, which shows your progression. So we started off with three platforms. We now have four, I believe. Uh, which I'll show in a sec. Uh, Amanda's been hospitalized, so she's in sick bay. Oh, okay, we got some intense hostility in the brig as well. I think that might be some of the new soldiers we got. Yeah, we got a couple new guys going into the brig, so we got to wait until we can talk them, uh, talk them out of it. Which I believe is just playing through the game. You just keep playing missions, and then they'll, uh, I think, eventually join or, or leave either one. I think they mostly join. All right, the base is improving. Look at that. We've got another platform, which I believe is this one here. This this one at the very bottom. Uh, that's our new platform. We are expanding our base. Pretty cool, right? I like this little boat going around too. Uh, where is he? There he is. There's that little boat right in the corner. Very cool. <laughs> All right, let's do our usual thing. Uh, medical, we don't need to look at. We can assign people to it. Uh, we might have to swap, start swapping some people around because we don't have anyone with... Uh, great skills for that, but you can see no one's in there right now, and uh, Amanda is currently in currently in sick bay. Her uh, her skills are definitely hindered. It's going to take her like 50, 50 missions to get better. Um, so I think we might just leave her in there for now. But she's normally pretty good at intel, uh, which is one we don't have yet. Uh, spoilers. But she's good at R&D and combat as well, obviously. So she's good either way. Alright, let's have a good look through our teams here and see if anyone's good at medical. I think everybody in our combat unit is just atrocious right now. <laughs> They're not good at anything. Outside of maybe a few guys who are actually gen marginally good at combat who've leveled up. Uh, oh, God, Miller's good in there too, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm still going to leave Miller in R&D right now. I, I think that's still the play here. Uh, do we have anyone else here for medical? We might just have to shift this guy. And I think we might just shift, not you, we'll shift these two. 
shift them over to to medical. Now what's going to happen is we're actually going to go down a level, I, I think. We might be going down a level. You can see the orange lines there. That's our amount of experience. And that reaches the end of it where that five is, it'll uh, level up again. But when you take soldiers away, your um, your uh, teams will level will level down. So uh, you got to keep an eye on that. Uh, let's put them in medical. Okay. Uh, this guy can go into R&D. We're back at 15 again. Uh, oh, R&D as well. It's a 16. And you can go to mess hall. Yeah, R&D is going to get a lot of love early on. Uh, but then we'll start having to juggle the, the leveling thing. Okay, what else can we develop? Uh, nothing new on that end. But we do have the, the twin barrel, which is done. Which is really cool. Uh... I think that was... Wait, was that... No, that one was done last time, wasn't it? What am I thinking of? It was something else. Uh, or maybe it was. I'm losing my mind. I've been recording too long. Also, taco chips. This was originally the Doritos, as I just mentioned. Um, I do love how they have a custom... <laughs> it's it's still like the red Doritos uh, packet, but, you know, they just change it. Love the borderless taste. They really should have made this into a proper thing. I don't know if they ever did, but I would have purchased these and eaten them on stream. That'd have been good. Would have made like a uh, like a channel point goal or something. Um, then again, this is uh, how many years ago now? This was 20, uh, 2010 technically. 2009 development. 2008, 2009 development. I mean, the team that made MGS4 went straight onto this game. So I think a little bit of the Paul Blops team as well. But uh, yeah, it was mostly the MGS4 team that worked on this, I believe. Which And you could tell the quality's there. Alrighty guys, I think that's gonna wrap up this recording session. Uh, I'm not sure how I've broken up these episodes yet. If you see these as two different episodes, uh, yeah, just roll with it. I'm, I'm changing up my recording scheduling at the moment and how everything's work. I'm just kind of doing things in bulk and then I'll uh, I'll sort it out all later just to, just to get the stuff done. Uh, but you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay positive, be yourselves. And as always, take care.